Today is the day to have a good day. So smile on purpose, even when it's hard. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Neek. And you can tell by the title down below, we're doing a realistic day in my life as a single mom video. I decided to do this video. Um, I had a few people were saying they want to see like a, a morning routine, a night routine. So, you know what? I didn't know what kind of routine I was going to do, but I knew I was going to put something out. And I don't know how this video is going to do. Sometimes you just have to put things out there to see what the people like. It could be trial, it could be, you know, trial and error, but you don't know until you try. One thing I'm going to say, being a mother is hard. I don't care. Some people are scared to say it, but being a mother is not for the weak. Okay? Come closer. I'm going to tell you again. Being a mother, a parent, period, is not for the weak. And if anybody told you that it was easy, they are lying to you, okay? They're lying because it's not, okay? Who said that I wanna go through this every single day? I'm just playing. <laughs> I love my kids, okay? No matter what, I love my kids. But being a mother is hard, okay? And that's just the truth. But I would not trade them for the world, okay? So, in this video, if you want to see a little day in my life, it's nothing special, but you can continue watching, and we're going to talk and chat a little bit and tell me what y'all think about it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below as well. I got to get that in order. I, I swear, every time I do a video, I just, it just don't flow, but I'll see y'all in the next clip. <laughs> This part of my life is called motherhood. It's also called adulting. I never knew or never imagined when I was 17 years old what life would be like having my first child. Now, it's so many stories, teen mom, being a teen mom, teen parent, but no one really truly prepared you for what life is like being a teen mom. I was a teen mom, and when I tell you, I had no idea what I was getting into. But as time went by, I learned so much through my journey. And now I'm here. And I'm going to tell you, it's been no easy ride. No easy ride at all. Going through ups and downs. Trying to figure out life for what it is. But you know what? I made it through. Now, in this season, I'm going to tell you, being a mother is hard. Okay? It's hard. Don't never let nobody make you feel like you're wrong for saying that you're human and we are allowed to feel how we feel now not only is being a mother hard but being a single mother being a single mother you have so many responsibilities and it's only you to do it well at least in my case I don't have another parent to run to. I don't have another parent to call. So everything is on me. Everything is on me. But you know what? God don't give you nothing that you can't handle. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Because when I tell you I've been through some things, I've been through some things. And only God has gotten me through all those things. Now, in my life, I never was prepared and understood nothing about how to parent, how to love your kids properly, how to be there emotionally, 
physically show up for them. And man, when I tell you, I have my days. I have my days, day in and day out. Sometimes I don't even know when I get up in the morning if I'm going to have the energy to even be anybody's parent. But every single day I get up and I show up for mine. Now, sometimes I want to sit in that bed and I just want to mope or I just want to just do stuff for me. But when you're a parent, you cannot do that. You have to show up and you have to be there even when you don't feel like it. Hmm. Man, if I knew what I knew now, yeah, I would have waited. But I love my kids wholeheartedly. And I wouldn't trade them for anything in the world. But listen, it's times when I get up on that weekend after a long week taking my kids back and forth to school, to work, doing all the daily tasks that a mother has to do to show up for her kids. But you know what? When that weekend comes, Sometimes I realize I'm leaning over the sink with tears in my eyes because I'm so overwhelmed and overstimulated. And I'm just like, man, this cannot be life. (laughs) But at the end of the day, when I see my kids smile and they give me hugs and kisses and they say, I'm the best mother ever, that is something that is unmatched. I really understand why God put me here. (laughs) Because being a mother is hard. I'm going to remind you on that. Being a mother is one of the hardest jobs you can ever have. At least for me. Because I'm going to speak the truth. I know my kids love me. And sometimes I feel like I'm not even worthy. Like they deserve better. Oftentimes, I always question, am I doing enough? Am I showing up enough? Am I being a good listener? Am I spending enough time with you? I ask myself that all the time. But you know what? I know at the end of the day, I'm doing every single thing that I'm supposed to be doing. Because like I said, God don't give you nothing that you can't handle. (laughs) I have to remind myself that all the time because I'm telling you, life be lifing and life gets hard. And parenting, (laughs) that's one of the hardest things. Now, so many parents... You know, they spoil their kids with so many material things. And really, the material things going to get old. Kids, they thrive off of that individual quality time. Yeah, material things are nice and all. But when those material things get old, that time is what they're going to remember. That time is what they're going to cherish. So when you're dead and gone... They're going to look back and they're going to say, Ooh, my mama loved me. She did this. She did that. But it's not about the material things. It's that time that was spent. Now, throughout my day, I feel like I'm doing so much. I'm running around with a chicken with his head cut off. And I don't even know if I'm going or coming sometime. I really sit back and I'm like, wow. I did that. Like, (laughs) I don't care. I did that. Cooking, cleaning, washing clothes, getting up every single morning at the top of the hour, making sure your kids are straight so they go to school feeling so good so they can thrive in their education. I am proud of myself because I did that. With no help. Only but God. You know what? It's sad when you're doing it alone. In my case at least. When you have to be the mother. The doctor. The teacher. 
the counselor, the therapist, counselor, therapist. <laughs> you got to be it all. You wearing all these hats, cheering your kids on, telling them they're smart, they're beautiful, they're handsome. They can be anything they want to be. Don't never, ever let nobody tell you different. Always think big. You are beautiful. All these things you remind your kids every day. But then with me, at the end of the night, I'm left and I don't have anything left for me. (laughs) But that's for another story for another time. Yeah, I lost myself in so many ways. But you know what? All I know is how to be a mother. Even... In its hard times. I struggle with so many things. But one thing I'm going to make sure I do. Is show up for my two. So in the rest of this video. Y'all just going to see us having dinner together. And this is something that we do every night. We eat at the table together. Because you know what? Growing up. (laughs) I didn't have that. So everything that I didn't have, I try to I try to do those things with my kids. I'm breaking generational curses. And this is not to down anyone in my upbringing. But I just want my kids to see better. I want them to know better. I want them to feel in love in all areas of life but definitely coming from their mother I know this audio is all over the place but y'all getting the message doing it alone is one thing but when you gotta be strong for yours I'm telling you I can go on for days about motherhood And how difficult it is. But you know what? I wouldn't choose any other way. I would always. And I'm going to say it again. Always. Choose. My babies. Okay everybody. So I am exhausted. When I say I'm tired. I'm ready to go to sleep. Um, but I still have to give baby boy, I'm going to pick him up and we're going to come back home. He's going to get himself ready for bed. He's going to get in the tub and everything and brush his teeth, do all that stuff. And then once he go to bed, I'm going to get myself together. And then I'm going to go to night night because mama is tired. I'm very much tired and ready to lay down in my bed. So I'll see y'all when we get back to the house. Hey. Good night. Love you.